everybody, it's Chris from ChristopherJ.net, and this is lesson DB7. What kind of accessories should I get for my base? I'm going to show you some of the things that I've collected in my short time of playing the base, and hopefully that's helpful for you. Let's start with rosin. I've been through uh, four different versions now of rosin. I started out with pops, I guess, because it's popular, and that's what they had at the, the music store, and the kid who probably didn't play bass said, yeah, that's about what everybody uses. So I used that for a while, and it worked okay. Um, it leaves a lot of rosin dust all over the place. Um, it's kind of sticky. After that, I moved on to this rosin made in Sweden, which is by Nyman Hearts. I think you can see that. And it's a lot harder rosin than the pops and uh, it didn't leave very much rosin dust and it worked pretty good and then just because I like to experiment um, I'm currently using rosin by Samuel Colstein and every time I type Colstein into my Mac the auto spell uh, feature wants to change it to Holstein and I have to keep telling it it's not a cow it's rosin Anyway, um, this is soft rosin. I also have Colstein's all-weather rosin. And uh, I'm using the soft right now. It seems to work the best for the, the combination of strings and bow that I have. What else did I collect? Uh, I think I mentioned this before in another video. But I have a, an electronic tuner. It's by Korg. And this is the orchestral electronic tuner. And it came with two different types of clips. This large one, which good, works good for my bass. And I had a smaller one for smaller instruments. So you can clip it on about any instrument. And uh, that's very helpful. Another thing that you want to have, especially when you practice, is the good old metronome. You can either use an old-fashioned one like this or the really old-fashioned one that you wind up that used to see sitting on pianos, or there's tons of apps uh, for your iOS device, your Android, or on your computer, um, Metrophone apps, that is, that you can use. If you want to get good rhythm, you got to use the metronome. Another thing are these uh, LED lights. This one is made by OnStage. And... Uh, it's handy if you're at a show and it's too dark to see if you're using sheet music or if you just need to look around and you're um, in the dark for something you can turn that on works great um, another thing that I have that you should have is some kind of cloth to clean your instrument with after you play you know there's oil from your hands on the strings and on the neck uh, and on the finish, so you'll want to wipe it down. This is an old cloth diaper, so if you have kids or had kids or have grandkids, you probably have one of these lying around. Um, it's really soft, it won't scratch, um, it doesn't leave much lint, if any. But when I'm actually at a concert or a show, I use a black washcloth that I got at the department store, um, so it's not so conspicuous as waving around a white flag while you're up there on the stage, like you surrender. Um, another thing is a little bag to put all your gadgets in. This one I got probably at Walmart or Sears, I don't remember where, maybe somewhere at the mall, and it wasn't very expensive, but it has lots of pockets. You can put your music in there, your tuner, your rosin, um, whatever. And my secret weapon is that. You might recognize that as a paper clip. They sell these at the office supply stores. I got mine at Office Depot. And the cool thing about this is it has rubber or plastic coating on the handles. And what I use it for is I attach it to the side of my music stand and then I can hang the bow on the handle. 
That way I don't have to have a bow quiver hanging off my base, which I didn't thrill me a lot. Uh, but since I in the orchestra, we always have a music stand. This is handy. It's right there. So when I don't need the bow or not playing, I can just hang it right on there. Oh, another great use I found for this is uh, the music stands that slide up and down, and they just they're kind of held by resistance. Some of the old ones, if they've gone up and down too many times, uh, won't stay up if you put too much weight on it. They keep sliding down. I found if I put that stand around the post of the music stand right above uh, the telescoping part where the small part comes out of the larger one on the bottom, just adjust it to the height you want, you put it right there and it won't go down anymore. So You have to use your imagination sometimes. Some other things that you'll want to have are a stand, a base stand to put your instrument on uh, so you keep it safe from damage while you're not using it at home. Um, I wouldn't, I haven't taken it out anywhere to any shows, but I keep it at home so I don't have to uh, have my bass lying around on the floor. And uh, it makes it really handy, so if you get the urge to play all of a sudden, if it's right there, you can just grab it out of the stand and you're ready to go. Mine is from a company called Ingles, I-N-G-L-E-S, and they make a stand for cello and bass. It's it's adjustable, height adjustable for either instrument. I highly recommend it. If you don't have a, a bag to put your bass in, a padded bag, you should get one to protect it when you take it outside. I'm looking for one that has wheels, so on those long trips from the car to wherever I'm going, um, it's less burden on the body. I have edge protectors, which you can see in this photo. Mine I got from Gallier Music. G-O-L-L-I-H-U-R and uh, they have self-adhesive on the bottom so they stick right on the edge of your base and they'll keep the, the edges of your base from rubbing on the floor when you put it down which is really helpful if you're going to lay it down on concrete or some kind of rough surface. Um, try it. The base is so big and cumbersome it's almost impossible not to bump it and ding it a little bit and some of that you can consider antiquing or a badge of honor, but I want to protect my base as long as possible, so I slap those on there. If you play in an orchestra, it's traditional to sit while you play, and there are custom-made bass stools out there that you can buy for lots of money, which I'm sure are great and very comfortable. Um, or you can do what I did and go on the cheap. I went to a thrift store and I just happened to find a stool that was just the right height made, um, it's a, a bamboo and rattan type stool. So the great thing about this is it's very light and easy to carry when you're carrying things a long distance from the car into um, wherever you're playing. Um, I added some extra padding to the top to make it uh, more comfortable to sit for two hours. But it works great for me. Another thing that I did was to add some fingerboard markers to the side of the neck on the bass. Uh, if you're coming over from bass guitar uh, or any fretted instrument, and as you're starting out on uh, a fretless instrument such as the double bass, it's helpful to have a uh, visual reference on where the different notes and intervals are on the neck. So uh, what I did was I added some little white dots to the side of the neck. Some beginning string players, uh, their teachers will have them put on uh, tape for position markers all the way across the, uh, the fingerboard, and I didn't want to look that obvious, so I added these little white dots to the side, uh, basically where the uh, uh, inlays are found on a typical bass guitar or a guitar. Um, at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th, and 24th frets. And um, they'll come off. They're not permanent. You can scratch them off or take them off with uh, some cleaner. And last but not least, you should have a music stand, unless you want to tape the music to the wall while you're practicing. And sometimes, um, if you go out to a gig and you need music and there's no music stand available, you need to bring your own. Um, so highly recommend you find one. And it looks more professional if you can get a black one with a solid uh, stand on the top um, rather than one of the cheap uh, 
little fold up ones. And on stage makes music stands just like that. So go check them out. And that's about all for now. I hope this helps. Happy practicing, and I will catch you next time. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye.